All the light that we consume The neon signs are falling Electric yellow and maroon It penetrates and makes us swoon Colors grow and come alive Into our veins, into our lives Millions marching in How's it going? That it has been a busy day, my lord. Oof. I have been up since seven. That left VRC so early because I had to wake up at seven. <laughs> uh, I've been. I've had a good day. It was a busy day, but it was a good day. What hour did I go to bed? I think it was probably around one, right? I think that's when I left the call. Um, yeah, I, um, Chad, I had to wake up early because I had a Cars and Coffee event. It was the uh, season opener for Mainline Cars and Coffee. And my God, it was a hell of a turnout. <laughs> it was, it was popping there, dude. There were so many people, so many cars, so many sick cars. Um, I would show you photos, but they're still on my camera. I don't have them uploaded anywhere yet or downloaded anywhere yet. Not uploaded. Um, you know what cars, what is cars and coffee? Uh, it's just like a morning car meet. That's that's basically it. A bunch of car guys bring their cars to a location. And they look at each other's cars and you know maybe take photos, maybe like chit chat with random people. Some people like come as groups. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is definitely not as you know. <sighs> there's kind of a wide range. Like cars and coffee is a bit of a broad term. Um, because like you can have like a cars and coffee with like eight people, right? Where it's like, you just like go to a, you know, like a coffee shop in the morning, uh, on some regular schedule and you know, something like that. Right. But, um, this one is definitely, it's like more like an event. 
Like it is, the turnout is kind of insane. Um, so. Um, but yeah, so I had that this morning. So I had, I had mainline cars and coffee to go to. And then right after mainline, I think I, I probably left there at like, I don't know, 10.30ish. Probably more like 10.15. Left there, went to another Cars and Coffee event that was happening this also today. Um, I was at that one much shorter. I was only there to like, uh, I was there from like maybe 11 to 11.30 uh, and then came back. And then I uh, had, had lunch. Then I was just exhausted. I, I, dude, I like, I got a coffee because I knew, like, I knew I was getting tired. And like, I finished my coffee, laid down to watch a YouTube video, fell asleep for like two hours. Like, uh, so. But then I wake up, I get a call from my boy Jordan, and he's like, yo, we're having a cookout. You wanna join? I'm like, I guess so. <laughs> so. Throw over to New Jersey, had a cookout with uh, Jordan and others. It was a good time. Good time. Um, and now I'm here. I like basically drove directly from the cookout to here. You might have noticed I sent out my going live tweet early because I knew that um, my like by the time that I would like get home. It would be past like that 30 minute window that I like to do uh, for like streams. So I was like, okay, I'll just post it early. Why do you share location in every tweet? Not on purpose. I don't know. Is that every tweet? Is that really? Maybe it's just a mobile thing. That's probably what it is. Probably from mobile. Yeah, because these tweets that I've sent from PC don't do it. Hey, this doesn't do it. All right, hold on. Let me look through a couple more. Maybe I accidentally sent it. <laughs> Whatever. This is the time it's Philadelphia? I don't know. Oh yeah, you're right. I don't know, it's probably something for mobile. Because a lot of times I'll send the like preliminary tweet out um, for my phone. So they must like put on a, uh, they must put on a, like automatically puts on location. But it's not something I like opt in for. Oh, Sirokun, how's it going? Kia Uwu Rar makes out with my, what? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Um, anyways. It says I wish I had VR and other things to save off for. I mean, here's the thing. VR is fun. I think... Uh, it's it's kind of hard, man. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't necessarily think that, like, everybody should, like, get VR, you know? It's definitely like an acquired thing. It's like, you should only get it if you think you're going to use it for, like use it a lot for a while, you know? Um, Cause it, I mean, it is an investment. Like even even on the low end, like a Quest, Quest uh, headset is still gonna be like three, $400, you know, at the low end. Um, you know, I got my fucking Valve Index, which was like a thousand. It was, it was not cheap. Is it an investment? Well, I mean, in my case, definitely, because I'm using it for stream stuff. You know, I see it as an investment in making content, uh, you know, for you guys. So, um, I mean, I very rarely use my, my headset outside of uh doing stuff with you guys so it's almost exclusively like a an item that i use for for stream 
I do some casual stuff with it, but most of the time it's for stream. A special headset for us, yeah. Um, but I mean, it makes good content, you know, especially like when we do like a horror game or something, like, you know, it's 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 great. I I think it makes uh, for, for good entertainment, so. Yeah, like Grizzlies or, or the, you know, uh, Help Wanted 2, so. Speaking of spooky stuff, guys, it is Spooky Sunday. Um, and I'm pretty excited for tonight uh, because Kane Pixels, wah, 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 wah. Kane Pixels has dropped a new video, guys. One, two, three, play My God, another video in the oldest view series called Dispersal. It is not the super long, you know, release that uh, what, what was the previous one called? Um, the Rolling Giant. It's not. It's not as long as the Rolling Giant. Again, that was like 46 minutes. What, what a great video, by the way. But uh, so yeah, this will be this will be a bit shorter. Um, around like 10 minutes. Uh, I also I realize I realize that I am very much of a hypocrite because people asked if I was going to react to um, how oh, was Matt Pat reacted to. Um, we got GT Live. The boiled one. Uh, the the boiled one phenomenon. I know that like, I I people asked if I was gonna react to that, and I was like, oh, it's like only like ten minutes, so I don't think it's like, you know, I don't think it really makes sense. Um, so. Uh, and then here I am reacting to a Kane Pixels video that's 10 minutes. But, um, I, I acknowledge the fact that it was hypocritical. I wasn't, like, really thinking about the fact that I could just, like, I don't know, do some other series in addition. I think the issue was at that, at the time that the boiled one came out, which would have been last Spooky Sunday. Well, first off, we were doing content warning. Um, but outside of that, um, we also were, uh... What's it called? Um, I didn't have like another video series that would help fill out the stream, right? Uh, whereas now I do, um, and we'll, we'll get into that in a sec. But yeah, so, uh, but I ended up watching the boiled one or the the boiled one phenomenon uh, on my own. Uh, again, if that creator comes out with something else that's maybe longer, I'd be interested in checking it out. But but yeah, so starting off with. Uh, dispersal from the oldest view series that Kane Pixels working on. And then after that, we're going to be checking out a creator that I have not explored yet on this channel channel called uh, Valux or Valux, Val, Valux, Valux. I don't know how to say it. My apologies. But uh, there is a series they have worked on called the Afton Archives. Um, it's kind of been out. Uh, in three parts, but we will be watching the full series um, around, I think, an hour total of content. Um, so, very excited to check that one out. Um, uh, Valix also has some other stuff uh, that has been released more recently. Actually, Valix is pretty interesting because they appear to also be like just a content creator. Like, it, well, I mean, obviously they're a content creator, but I mean, like, they do their animation stuff, but they also just, like, do, uh, they, like, they check out other, uh, series and stuff on, uh, YouTube. I respect the hustle, you know, as, as a fellow, you know, horror, YouTube horror enthusiast, so, um, but yeah, anywho, so that's that. Um... Planning to release something in May. Oh, the creator of the World One phenomenon. That's cool. Um. But yeah, uh, that's that's the plan for tonight. I'm gonna get to. Uh... Yeah, it's actually. There's been a lot of other FNAF VHS stuff that Alex has been putting out as of late. 
So we could we could come back to this channel at some point, but again, we'll be specifically tackling the Afton archives. Nice. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, but why don't we get started, chat? Without further ado. Um, all right, stop the music. Are y'all ready? For the goat? The goat! Amazing help. All right. Where's your brother? I don't know. Probably like out with his wife <laughs> um according to kane his oldest view videos were not shot in real life which is actually insane is that mm, all of it all of it there's like i know that like um I know that Rolling, rolling giant was mostly made fully in or mostly done in uh in animation software but i there is like the beginning of the video where he's above ground i would be very surprised if that above ground section was done in blender but all the stuff in the mall yeah you know what i mean I could be wrong. If so, I mean that's that's super impressive. I, I didn't even think twice about that out outdoor area. Just kind of assumed it was uh real footage. But yeah, once you enter that hallway, you, you know, go down the stairs. So anywho, all right, let's get going. Actions. I'm hearing the music. I wonder. It's meant to be in the mall. Okay, man. Oh, that's a door opening. Okay. Um. Hi. Hello. I fucking hate this already. Oh. Am I looking at something? I What am I what am I looking? Oh dear. Dear God. Wait, that's the stairs! I thought this was closed! Oh, is this a different entrance? Oh, this is a different entrance, isn't it? Uh oh. All right, guys, I think this is not done in Blender. <laughs> Something tells me this part was recorded in real life. We are around if anybody has any additional questions. Um, thank you for your That's attendance. CGI? Oh, okay. Uh, thank you again to all of the uh, um, city council people, to our, our uh, to CC Broadnecks for coming. Uh, members of the media and uh, residents and uh, look forward to showcasing your groundbreaking here within the next number of months. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, bye everybody. All right, so we're back. Is that? Oh, okay. Back to this. Good vibes from this area. Oh shit! Oh, he's still dead for now. We'll see if that holds up. I still stand by the fact that he was a dumbass at the end of the, the last video. Like, th this dude had took his sweet ass time crawling to the exit. And, like, he's not dead. He's just chilling. I don't know about that. He, he took so long to get over to the exit, dude. Like, 
if he just would have spent if he would have had a little bit of hustle man i think he would have been he would have been out of there but no 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 <laughs> i was risking his life it's not time yet oh boy I remember you. Pixel sound design. Oh! Okay, we're reliving this, huh? Shit. Shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck. SMH Kane, we're really you. <laughs> we're really reusing footage. Come on. Man, times times have really fall. <laughs> times have been tough on Kane, you know. <laughs> I kid, I kid. This is fine. Everything's fine. Okay, but seriously though, well, this is exactly what I was talking about. We're, we're getting a pure demonstration on how slow this dude was moving. Kind of ridiculous. Just a reminder of how good this video looks, you know? So well done. <laughs> Is this all the same? I think so, yeah? Now hold on one minute. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, um. What? Uh, I. I feel as if things have changed. <laughs> I recall. I recall that he fell. Um. So what the fuck was that about? I'm very confused now. What the fuck? So then, oh God, this is just like wrecking my mind right now. So then what's real? Like is one real and the other's fake? Or are they both real somehow? Like or is, did it like somehow there was like a timeline split and there's like, Oh, bro, this has just like opened up such a can of worms. I mean, this is what should have happened. This is what we wanted to happen. Yo, he, that, that adrenaline is putting in work right now. I don't really trust that we're there's still a lot of shit going on down there. Oh, it's so dark, bro. There's a lot of rumbling, too. I don't know if he's really in the clear. Dude, there are so so many stairs. This is ridiculous. Also, is there, there, I feel like there's no guarantee that by the time he gets to the top of these stairs that there's actually an exit, right? Like, he might be fucked regardless. Also, what if he just ends up somewhere else? Like he doesn't end up above ground. Oh, that's a light. 
Top chop, bud. Use that adrenaline. See, I'm still hearing noises, and that's making me real uncomfortable. That is so many things. <laughs> That cut is... Oh, okay. Um... I... really hate this. Oh, this feels like some, like, early YouTube shit. This is given, like, that one video of, uh... The car driving around the, the windy road and then you get jump scared. I guess he got out, right? That's that's what we're seeing there. But is he the question is, is he really out? Like, is he in the same reality? I mean, I feel like I I I, I am leaning towards yes. Because the other reality was the whole like black and white thing where like you could just see green. Like green was like the only color. But this the fact that it's not depicted like that makes me think he did get out legitimately. I don't think he's safe necessarily though, I'm gonna be honest. Music is awful. I I I feel like this is gonna be the kind of thing where something's like hidden in all these shots and I just haven't seen it yet. Atomically modern humans have existed for approximately 300,000 years. Recorded history accounts for roughly 1.6 of this time. I hate this music. I mean, I love it because of how effective it is. But, oh my god, I'm just like incredibly uncomfortable. Dude, I would be locking my door the second I get in my car. Imagine the, the the rolling rolling giants just sitting in his back seat. I would laugh. Wait, is this an original song by Kane? That'd be crazy. <laughs> Imagine. Hmm. What? What's your deal, bro? Tripping out. Wait, is this the fucking thing? I swear to God. Or is this his car? Please tell me this is his car and not the thing. <laughs> if so, this thing's fucking fast. That's terrifying. Now, surely this is just the car. Surely. Oh man, you don't even know! You don't even know! Dude, this is... Oh my god. Whoa, shit, I thought my chair was gonna fall back. <laughs> um, dude, this has opened up... So oh my god. Oh my god, I have so many thoughts now. Oh. Okay, I want to see what other people are saying. Yeah, because it, it, it definitely, like, if you compare that to how it sounds. One gloriously scented skin. Um, the good one of it rolling. I'm leaving. You're saying, come on, chase him down. Chase him down. Oh, that's right. It's like. Fuck. Oh, wait. 
Right? Like, that sounds like... Let me get... God damn it. Hey. Hey. Yeah, that sounds like it, right? Dude, like, it's gotta be it. weird to me is that it's looking around but oh man man oh is there anything hidden in this playlist no. oh oh that's my comment <laughs> um Can you imagine being a driver on the road and seeing the giant cruising at a reasonable clip past you? Dude, like, that's what I'm saying. The, 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 the rolling giant was like, he was, he, he had some decent speed. Um... Me personally, I would have gone up those stairs on all fours like a child because everyone knows that's the superior stair climbing thing. Um, oh, this is an interesting thing. As for the ending, I don't think the ruling giant physically leaves the mall, but rather as the protagonist drives away, he carries the memory of the mall and the giant down the road with him, effectively dispersing them. I feel like the idea of being forgotten is a big theme of the series, which also, which is also why we see the quote about how little of human history we actually remember. Okay. I just don't, dude. I, I think I'm just really struggling with trying to figure out what does Matt do, Matt struggles with his thoughts that's what matt's doing right now <laughs> um i it's just the the whole like two ending thing where we have like the ending where he falls and presumably dies and now we have this new ending where he escapes and is maybe being chased by the rolling giant but also like this one guy is theorizing maybe it's just like the thoughts of the rolling giant are following him and he's just being betrayed in that way uh, regardless, the fact that we have the two endings is very weird to me. And it's like, I don't know, again, I don't know if one of them is real or the other is real or somehow they're both real. Ugh. I'm surprised nobody's talking about that. Yeah, I did. I, I didn't mention it, but I did notice this. And I don't. I agree with some other comments. Wyatt died, but has possessed the giant or perhaps become entangled with it. His successful escape here is Wyatt unable to perceive his fall. Rather, he only senses moving up the stairs and escaping the hard cut. The statue rolling down the road at the end reveals what's happening as Wyatt drives home. This is that's an interesting theory as well. Chris, how's it going? Um, who? Why? Why it's the the main character from uh, that we've seen so far? Yeah, like it's, it's like there's there's no something's something is off, man. <laughs> something is off. Can you answer a question? Ask it. Um. Oh man.
all fine. I don't know, man. I've never yelled run at a YouTube video before, but that streak was broken today. Oh, man. The other thing that was interesting is when he gets out, I thought it was a, 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 like distorted, right? Kind of just like materializes. Yeah. Like that seems weird. That seems weird. That's like, like that's an intentional thing, you know? You know, this isn't like, oh, I recorded this scene, but the footage got weirdly corrupted. So, oh, well, I'll just upload it like this. Like, no, this this is definitely an intentional effect. Oh, man. I just, I don't know why. It's so effective, though. It's, it's really, again, it's just so unsettling. What's 2LN? Natural, it's not natural law, it's natural log. It's been, it's been too long since I've, uh, law? Am I, am I tripping, bro? I'm not doing math for you. <laughs> I don't remember how to do that. Um. Oh, man. Man, oh, I really don't know what to make of it. So weird. Oh yeah, I want to go through these scenes and see if there's anything hidden. Like I didn't pick up on. Wait, 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 wait. With background play on the yeah 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 rah 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 oh oopsie daisies he falls what are we doing YouTube I just want to see if there's any shots that were re. I thought these might have been the same because you see the the rolling giant here. I was wondering if it was is what would have been really interesting. What would have been really interesting is if well again I think this this is a pretty similarly uh what's the word I'm looking for here um. Framed. It's like a similar, similarly framed shot. I don't know if that's intentional though. I, I like if this were the same exact area of the woods, I think that would have been intentional because then like, you know, the, the one person was saying like that he didn't actually escape. It's just like somehow the, the giant got out and like he's somehow tethered to the giant, then this would, that would make sense for this, right? I mean, here, let me go through in case there was another one. Oh no. Yeah, man. Very fascinating. Um, is oh i just don't know what to believe i can't wait i can't express the amount of dread i felt when i realized oh the ending footage yeah the uh like being the giant um
Dude, honestly, shit like this this ending part with again like the music and these like super uncanny shots. This this is the kind of stuff. If he's if this is what he's putting out on YouTube, bro, this is the shit that makes me excited for the backrooms film that he's working on with A24. That like, oh my god, if he's able to like channel like this energy into that film. Oh, dude, I can't. I'm actually that might be like one of the most anticipated horror films for me. Like I like more than FNAF, to be honest, like straight up. What I think the first FNAF movie was fun, but I mean, just it really wasn't that scary. And it was more of, you know, it was very camp, uh, which, again, was, I think, what they were going for, which is fine. But like there was a part of me that was like, eh, I wish there was, you know, some bigger scares, whereas like I am so excited to feel the dread of watching that backrooms movie when it eventually makes its way you know out of the theaters oh my god that is one that i will definitely go out and see in theaters like not even a question oh, but i just oh man I'm curious what uh, film theory will do with this video if they do decide to put out another theory uh, incorporating this. What their take will be. Ugh. Man. I heard that the movie is going to be less with the analog horror aspect. I thought I heard otherwise. I mean, maybe like less of like the very like raw stuff we've gotten from the YouTube channel, but I, I think he's done interviews. I feel like I saw some interview where he was basically like, yeah, like I want to keep the same style of filmmaking um, that I've done for the YouTube series for this, you know, film. It might have been Anthony Padilla's video uh, where he interviewed him. I'm trying to remember, but. <sighs> this is interesting. In the life of a giant video, the song, please, please, please. Let me get what I want by Dream Academy plays throughout the video. The song is from the perspective of someone who lived a life of misfortune, lamenting and praying for something better in their life. This is fitting, especially for the giant circumstances and the fact that somehow, despite the destruction, with the giant and the mall continue to persist in the underground. Oh, this is a lot. Um, song every time around by Van Cyber. On a similar tone in the previous, although it's more uplifting. Short when the song plays, we hear the lyrics. The night gets cold. There's smoke in the clouds. I'm having trouble sleeping and it's stressing me out. The words may fall short of something profound, but every time I'm with you, I'm just glad you're around. How does it sound? Um, hmm. What's the Pepe emote that stares at you? Yeah, isn't it just stare? Not exactly that, but the idea. I don't know what other emote you're talking about. There is, I know there is another stare emote, but the just the stare one is the most common. Um, God, I'm going to have to stew on this one, man. <laughs> Ugh, my my mind is just running wild right now. His videos are so good, man. Ugh, what a talented creator. What a talented creator Kane is. Um, anyways. Uh, 
Sorry, I'm just watching the end again. So fascinating. All right. Well, anyways, that was the oldest view dispersal. Uh, why don't we move on to the next series we have for tonight? Which is Afton Archive or the Afton Archives, whatever you want. Um, we got about an hour of content to work with, so uh, wrap in, guys. Simplicity. We're about to get going. This is in chronological order. Um. Alex released all these as separate videos, but I figured this compilation is probably going to be uh, important for, you know, From understanding the series that a bit better. So, all right, do we have any official captions? Oh, we, we are in four by three. We'll swap over to that. All right. Video is so good, it's all I'm eating today. Um, here, let me go top off my water and then uh, start with this. All right, where's the music? I was a little bit of time, all right? All right, no music is scary. I mean, it is spooky Sunday, guys. Um, Patrick, Matt, please watch Gemini Home Entertainment, Monument Mythos. I feel like we've seen Gemini Home Entertainment. We've watched Monument Mythos. We've probably seen a lot of these. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I love how you said the oldest view and then in parentheses, relatively unknown series, you know, not like it's by one of the largest creators in the, you know, YouTube horror space right now or anything. <laughs> um, that is quite a lot. Wait, why is Iron Man 2 in there? Something, something feels a bit off about that. I mean, Matt does. Yeah, you should definitely check him out. Matt Pat's 142, 42th video, 42nd. You mean? Tree mass and P full war. I will pass. <laughs> um. All right. Anyways, chat. Yeah, let's get going. Excited. Wait, what are the chapters here? Oh, interesting. So the chapters are split up by the years. So there's going to be multiple of the original videos per year, or maybe there's some more. It's only a single. That's a, that's an interesting way of spacing it out. Here we go, of Alex's tapes. I've not so Dark uh, Lord K. I I don't know how familiar you are with Alex, but this is my first time ever uh, checking out Alex's channel. So I'm excited to get started. I guess you're pretty. A well integrated with uh some of the uh vhs horror space on youtube so um i still gotta check out uh some of your stuff 4k that is on my uh that is on my to-do list all right Oh, 
what year are we in right now? 1982. Alright. What's going on here? Hello? Hello, hello? Where are you running? Oh, the puppet's gone. Prohibited. Discard it immediately. Mm. Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Discard I, it immediately. I know where this is in the lore. <laughs> of this tape is prohibited. Discard it immediately. Viewing of this. Oh! Fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that was funny. That was taken straight out of the, uh, at least the main part of that jump scare. It's taken straight out of the game. That <laughs> got me too. <laughs> Invite the other children to your secret party! Oh my god! Yippee! Why do all the children have very large black eyes? That too much. Hello, I'm giving out invites to my secret special party, but only to those who seem trustworthy enough. There will be presents for everyone that come! Plus, a huge cake! Wow. Oh, um, well, why not? Sounds fun. Oh wow, this is gonna be such a good time. Great, but remember, all soul. Would you like to come to my secret special party? I heard Freddy's going to be there. Freddy, wait, really? Absolutely, I'll come. Freddy starts at 8, so I'll meet you here then. But remember, don't tell Soul. Super secret party here tonight. Her Chica will be making a giant cupcake to celebrate. Wanna come? Not sure if I will be allowed out that late. Don't worry, there will be staff watching over. Besides, you don't want to be the only one not going, do you? Yeah, peer pressure. Hooray. Mm, uh, I guess. You had the best birthday here last week. What if I told you Freddy wants to throw one better than yours? <laughs> he's like, I, I, I say he's a fucking liar. <laughs> what? Hmm, I suppose if anyone could have a better party than mine, it would be him. Only well, asked me to invite the coolest kids I know. Just remember, don't tell. Whoa! What are we doing? Right in the game, you're gonna be throwing a secret party tonight, but they asked me to only invite the coolest people I know. They think I'm cool? Oh no, it's a shy kid. Okay. Relax, Afton. My god. Oh, ah, let's see. Well, I'll try to be there. the whole like him starting as a kid and then being an adult like was it purely to like not give away the fact that it was in fact Afton walking around until like at the end there like was it just a way of disguising it or, or was there, there more to that yeah Also, I'm realizing we're in 85, so we have no bite of 83 in the tape, so I think. 
Maybe to show how trusting the kids were? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> the lean man is doing the thing. This is not gonna be good. Um The daisies. All four terminated. Please inform a worker or a member of staff of this error so it can be repaired as soon as uh, What was that? I swore I saw a glitch. Are we doing this shit again where like the video like glitches but it's like actually on YouTube's end? Subtle about Charlotte, huh? <laughs> blah blah blah. <laughs> doesn't he own the place? Why can't he turn off the security camera shit? I, maybe he doesn't care, you know? I think that's more of what it is is because it's his security cameras and he's probably the only person that looks at the footage he's like i don't give a shit about this. don't love this i'm so good It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Where are the other companies? They're gone! I'm so glad I've got this on camera. The, the, there's nothing there. They're way too heavy to have been moved by a person. I mean, I've, I've looked up. No one could possibly go in. How much the noise of artifacts here? Yeah.
they told us we had a surprise. said it. <laughs> God. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Can we go another shift? This is our location. Raw. God, this place can really use some Hand unit. Maintenance. Hand unit. Give us exotic butters, hand unit. Come on, do the thing. Come on, hand unit. Yeah, do it. Raw. Raw. I love crawling through the fence to get to my job. Entryway event. Hey, Brian, thank you for the follow. No, it's pretty. It's pretty damn clean in here. I'll tell you what. Let's turn on the light and see if the light is on stage. All right, let's uh, let's get started then. All right. Check on the law. Okay, of course, we get on that. <laughs> Excellent. Hey! Let's see what the boss of Foxy is up to. Now, are you? Foxy? God damn it, Foxy! Right? Oh. Come on. Um, hey, yo, bro. Hey, yo, bro. Okay. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. That's why I Hello, backed up. Employee. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn it. I mean, they said the motion trigger. Welcome to our. <laughs> They're dumbass. Through at the all new establishment. He's like, he comes in, he's like, dude, would you quit fucking shocking me? God. This shit hurts, you know. Freddy Fazbear's Jr. This tape is to prepare you for our grand reopening next week. Oh, yeah. You may have noticed the modern design. Are we in a new year? Yep, we're in 1987. Of both the new location and the new animatronics. We decided to go all out for this rebrand. Beginning with our state-of-the-art robots. Is this the, the one, uh, TikTok voice? <laughs> Completely redesigned to be more kid-friendly, this also includes their own security systems, using all new facial recognition features to be able to identify criminals that may enter the building and alert the staff via a high-pitched tone. After ditching our previous run-down animatronics from our previous restaurant, Wait, I we decided to was. reuse them for spare parts. So in case something goes wrong, you are encouraged to direct our engineers to our parts and service room at the okay. end of the hall so that we can save money. Yeah. Unfortunately, we Business. had to reuse some parts from the old animatronics in the back to cut costs. Right, see you, this means these new models will require maintenance from time to time and may experience some bugs in their system or even okay. showtime errors. But that's okay. Remember, yeah. cutting corners is just good business. Yeah. If this occurs, simply refer to the handbook provided to you, identify the issue, and then contact the corresponding number to book a date for repairs. Along with a rebrand comes Did a new... It? Oh! 
In fact, it did. New start. A new beginning. We want our customers to forget past hey, the why are the kids touching the... I don't want no kid touching my damn pizza. Man, I know they said they were doing cost cutting, but... Child labor might be a step too far, Freddy Fazbear. All right? New start. You might be paying these guys under their tail, but... I don't think law enforcement's gonna be too happy with, with these guys in the back. A new beginning. We want our customers to forget past events that occurred at the old location. <laughs> thing, that's an event that you should not worry about. Children, no! Worry about because nothing happened. Nothing happened to anyone. Yeah, nothing happened. Rules. Everything's fine. In order to keep the mood lighthearted and stick to our newly rebranded childish fun theming, we have very few rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Jr. This how Yo, what the fuck is... Hold on. What? Uh, there is. These guys have found a way to create matter. There is no shot that all of these slices came from this pizza. Also, I mean, like, this is putting aside the fact that this pizza is cut so atrociously. But, like, we got maybe spots for, like, three other slices here. We got one, two, three, four, five. There is no shot five slices were here. This, however, does not apply to you. For the most part, a lot of the rules are self-explanatory, such as always arriving on time, uh -huh. no stealing, and no locking children back. <laughs> Looking at you, Afton. <laughs> there is, however, one important rule we expect you to follow. DNT. The DNT prince. Chat, what do we think? Oh, it spoiled it. I was going to come up with some acronym for DNT. Um, also known as the do not tell principle is an that, easy yeah that's what I said it sounds like tiktok voice I mean it might be 11 lap yeah I don't know follow rule that and I it probably is an AI voice though employees must abide by and should encourage the members of our restaurant to also I mean, it fits well enough in know? order to maintain a happy and healthy dining experience as a member of Freddy Fazbear's Jr you are prohibited from mentioning anything to do with the old brand and or uh who is that that we're seeing here? Is that Freddy? Location. If you find someone within our restaurant yeah. who is discussing this, so. please report them immediately so we can keep a clean name for our brand. Freddy, I don't like Nothing the way happened you're looking to anyone. at me. Nothing happened to anyone. Stop it. Stop Nothing it. happened to anyone. Stop it. Nothing happened to anyone. Yeah, we get it, man. Nothing happened to anyone. God. Nothing happened to yes. anyone. Yes. Nothing happened Precisely. to nothing. Yep. Nothing. 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 Training tape completed. Good oh, luck wow. out there. You're now the new face of Freddy Fazbear's Jr. Amazing. Guys, what just happened for like the past five seconds? I kind of blacked out. Um... Oh, man. Huh. Give me another jump scare. It's gonna be another jump scare, man. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> Yo, put on the mask! Put on the mask, you dipshit! You're so fucked. It's cooked, yeah. You fool. Yeah, run through the hall. Surely that'll be fine. Because, you know, there's no more animatronics in here that could possibly call this arm. Ah, yes. The table will surely keep you safe. <laughs> what a dumb fuck. <laughs> Honestly, deserved. 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 It's not him. He's already dead. Couldn't stop it. Time to fall. Stop messing with the new animatronics. Do not control them. Oh, okay. Love that.
How are you listing okay. the table? I mean, the animatronics are pretty fucking strong. I'm not. Uh, it's not entirely surprising to me. And let's be honest. Freddy Fazbear's probably got the cheapest tables they could. Let's do this. I'm looking forward to this one. Freddy Fazbear's Junior. Okay, so we know about the uh, pulse of this company and the uh, well, don't say stop saying wood to Chica. All right, we're, we're not. I am not an endorser of Chica horniness in this chat. All right, settle down. Settle down. Uh, an unnamed security guard, night guard. Uh, you know, called me and said. <laughs> I I will not. I will not hear you out any further. Okay, so so let's start with the toy. How <laughs> bad for real. They're apparently just roaming the building and trying to attack the security guard. And they, they, the company claims it's due to their facial recognition systems messing up in the dark. I don't know how these things are allowed to still run at night, uh, but this is what the guard has told me. However, his main concern was actually the animatronics hidden in the back room. Yes. The back so rooms? You've passed these animatronics and they've stripped them down to build and repair these new ones. So they should not be active. NAF X back rooms. Let's go, back. dude. Yet he has reported they have run the building. Who's bro talking to? Completely sprung to life with no power. They even tried talking to him. This is absolutely insane. Uh, especially when we already know the connections to previous murders. I have to, I have to understand. He's gonna turn left and one's gonna so be there. All my answers may just very well line up. Oh, is he going in parts and service instead? So, let's just go, let's go take a look. This is what it's all about, right? Paranormal investigation. Oh. Hello. Okay. Right. Right. Well, let's get started then, I guess. Is anyone in here? Oh, he's got a, uh, secret box. Safe place? You are all free to talk? I want to learn from you. I'm not here to learn from you. I'm in the I just want to understand why you're here. How are you here? Who are you? Are you in this room with me? Hello. Oh, okay. hello. Gabriel. Gabriel? Okay, that was pretty clear. Um, this must be strong. This is. Uh, is there anyone else in here with you? Or with us? Okay. You know, perhaps in this room? Yes. Okay. Play. Listen. Uh, I'll take it. So, do you, uh, Talk through the voice box, the, the animatronic voice box. Yes. Okay. All right. This is new. Uh, I guess this thing isn't really required. I guess. Sorry. Uh. So, the other animatronics are they also able to communicate? I'm not here to hurt you, Gabriel. You have to. Talk to me. People's lives are on the line and people get hurt. Bro, their lives are already dead. What do they care? <laughs> Assume you are the one from 
all the reports. People know that you have, you know, unfortunately passed away to some unknown person. It doesn't really matter here. I just need to know why, why attack the guard? Why attack the security? Bunny. Bunny. I, I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I thought he said funny. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> They just, they just attack the security guards because they think it's funny. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of fucked up, Gabriel. He's Bonnie. This Bonnie? Yeah? No. Yellow. Oh. Yeah. I don't Gabriel's know. got a six cents a year. I don't see it. Yellow. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. Look around. I'm here for a while. Uh, if I find a yellow bunny, I will let you know. <laughs> Is that okay? He's right behind you. Is that all right with you? Badge. Uh, badge. Badge. You are with him. Um, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. I'm, I'm, I'm alone. I uh -oh. swear. <laughs> Honestly, I always work alone. Him. Who is him, Gabriel? I'm here alone. He's him. What are you talking? That was a sick beat. I. You have to be more specific. Yes, badge. It's it's a name tag. But why would you? Oh, hi, Chica. Oh, the whole crew is here. Yippee! Yippee! It's about time everybody woke the fuck up. Just calm, relax. I want to help you. Okay? Please. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I expected. <laughs> Hello? So wait, was, uh... Did... Is Bonnie's head turned? I can't tell. Nah, I don't think so. I think it's in the same position. I thought so at first, but... Oh no, never mind, it definitely is. It definitely is. <laughs> I think it was turning. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Uh, I need someone to go down to Kids Cove. Apparently, another one of the kids was messing with the mangle and must have damaged his circuit. Oh, really? Another. Here's the thing. I mean, uh, so yes, it was. I, I th that tape was obviously very clearly inspired by by Spectre's tape. However. I, it was done, while the concept of it was done uh, similarly, it was at least executed in a slightly different manner, right? But, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you, we can sit here and critique, like, analog horror for, you know, following a, a similar format, right? Where, it, like, video ends with a jump scare and, you know, but, I mean... Let's be honest. If we're gonna do that, we could we could do that for a lot of different creators. Um, so I, I, you know, I don't want to be like too harsh on like somebody new that I'm checking out, right? And I think that there is a a fine line between taking inspiration for people and then outright stealing content, right? Like I, for example, I, I think you mentioned that there was some part from another video that was kind of basically ripped directly into here that. You know, that's the kind of thing where even if you're a small creator, like, I mean, I get it. Like, you don't think your video is going to blow up and then it might. 
But like that's the kind of thing that you might want to try to get permission uh, for before you're you know, doing it. But I think that if you're taking inspiration for a concept, like as long as it isn't like a complete replica, um, I, I think you can take some creative liberties. So, but that's that's just my opinion. You can disagree. Surprise! Um, it's almost like I told you there's something wrong with these things. I don't expect you to do much. Just look busy. Give it a look to make sure it's not about to explode or something. Are you militant? No, and I, I, I don't want to generalize that. I'm not saying every single, like, VHS horror thing is the same format. There, There is a lot of examples of tapes, you know, doing different things. But I'm saying there's also a lot that do follow similar formats. And I'm sure there's a lot of creators that, you know, look back at their early tapes and they go, oh, man, I really follow that format, right? So... I think we should be cautious about like immediately trying to like shut down a creator when this is the first content they're putting out. Oh, also important context. All of these tapes, I believe are like a year or so old, uh, maybe like nine months or so, but so. Are you serious? We just had that stupid thing checked. This is ridiculous. Forced into working five nights, threats made if I don't comply, run down animatronics that can't sit still for two minutes. I'm surprised it took another murder to finally run this place into the ground. Hang on. It's you that never read the small print within the contract. Just do as I've asked. Fine. But after this, I just want to sit here until my shift is over and this place is shut down for good. Sounds good to me. Have fun. Feeling twitchy all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, I I gotta be honest. I I've always felt weird about just in general the concept of Mangle. Like, there is no like this is just like a general FNAF lore thing. There I feel like as a kid you would be horrified to play with this thing. No, not to mention how dangerous it would be. Like, there's gonna be like springs and stuff in there. Like, Let's like they're just letting kids play with that shit. Just get this over with. Surely nothing's gonna go wrong here. We are in 1987 still. Here I am, looking busy. Yep! I... <laughs> oh, 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 that's a lot of blood. That's... that... <laughs> I was like, we are in 87! There was another bite, allegedly, that happened in 87. <laughs> oh, no! God damn it, it was going so well! All that work for the toy animatronics. Mangle just had to get a little too excited. we all wish we could do in the games how come we couldn't do this man how fucked up is that <laughs> nice job closing the door to drain your power you idiot i mean if he's at this point in the night let's be honest he was probably he was probably already cooked you know like it's very clearly not 6 a.m <laughs> he, he ran out of power way too fast <laughs> <laughs> Night performance, quiet hours. Ahoy, me mateys! Hit me, your favorite swashbuckling buccaneer! Boxy, the like, I'm gonna make a comment, right? 
this is a situation where, again, at the time that this was created, maybe Valix was a very small creator and didn't realize the video was going to blow up. But this is a situation where if like you're going to use the audio from another person's video, you probably would want to get permission, right? Because this is this audio is directly ripped from another video. So, I read Fox. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that I think that is valid criticism. To be fair, when I no. tell you, we got a grand show for you today in just about ten minutes. Wait. 10 minutes, that's right, 10 minutes, can you bloody believe it? 10 minutes? Why, well, we better gather our gear before time runs out. Oh, and I gotta prep my singing voice. La, 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 la. Wow, she got Bonnie, make yourself useful and bump the stage, will you? Uh, I love that Bonnie still has the, like, you know, lead paint stare, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just try not to slip, goddamn. Hey! We are letting on the ground! Anyway, you skelly legs, just be in here and get out. Oh, guys, he apologized. <laughs> <laughs> See, he already, guys, he already made his apology video for Baddington. Don't worry. <laughs> Like that that is the type of thing where you, you probably should reach out to Baddington if you're gonna use the audio. Because I mean, look, he he did it. I, I feel like he did it the video in a somewhat transformative way, right? The 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 way Baddington did it was like kind of like this recorded tape where as Valix was using it in more of a you know a you know a, a format of like, oh, here's like a test that we're doing for the animatronics, right? So like it's transformative in that sense, but Again, since you're using just like the raw audio, you probably would want to try to get permission. So. And again, the, the reason I'm trying, uh, I'll let the videos play out. The reason I'm trying to at least be like a little bit, I'm, I'm trying to play devil's advocate here a bit is like, Valix clearly knows how to animate, right? And I, I think that, there is clearly talent here, but it's just like, if you're going to use stuff from other creators, you want to approach it the right way, right? You gave good credit, but who knows if you've gotten permission, which is better than nothing, right? But yeah, that's that's a question. And again, I understand that it might be hard because you're like, okay, well, I'm just a small creator. Who knows if like Baddington's going to even acknowledge something I asked, but you know, it's, I think, good to at least ask. And maybe he did. You know, maybe he did reach out and didn't hear a response. He's like, all right, maybe I just use it and give credit, but. No. But trying to avoid eye contact with any of the animatronics as high as you can. The characters have been acting very unusual, almost aggressive towards the staff. Uh, they interact with the kids just fine, but when they encounter an adult, they just stare. <laughs> Someone used one of the suits. We had a spare in the back, a yellow one. Someone used it. Now none of them are acting right. We've had to close down Pirates Cove, at least no! for the time being. Foxy animatronic is to remain out of order. Oh. Uh, the end of is just way too twitchy. We've Man. tried completely replacing parts and I mean, the problem still persists. I, I'm not really too sure uh, what more we can do. Um, and I mean, considering the incident that happened in 87, it's best that we, you know, oh, keep it away it. until we can safely perform repair. Fritz. I know what it's like. Drop in the box, forgot it. I've been here for a very long time. Sorry, oh, there we have. Oh. Yeah, they're angry. Oh. Just trying to help. Told me I was 
was too young to play with. Well, then my daddy owned the building. Locked me outside in the rain for a joke. No one could hear me over their laughs and the loud music. Oh boy, boy, I sure hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> he was a family friend. I trusted him. I told him pull up in his purple car. I didn't tell him about the boys. As I got closer, I saw him holding something. A knife! Told me to blame my father. I couldn't move. I was so confused and scared. Grabbed and hit me over. I could feel the object digging into me all over. Little stabbing stuff. Didn't have time to hurry him before he. I went numb eventually. Playing alone in the storm. How knife of him. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Hey, well, day four. I think you can do it. Uh, hey, listen. Guys, it's time for your daily dose of jump scare. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I'll be around to send you a message tomorrow. Oh, hi. It's very bad right here for me. Oh, uh, no. Unfortunately, he did not. Um, he clearly, he clearly knew he was going to die in this moment. I mean, you could hear it in his voice. So the question I need to find out is, why was he so desperate to leave a message for me of all people? In his last notes, he has family at home, and yet he cho he chooses this for another employee. It just doesn't add up. As everything doesn't in this place. Okay. Well, that whole night, I just couldn't stop wondering why was that message so important to have been left at all? But playing it back, I noticed this. Uh, you could check inside those suits uh, in the back room. Yeah, I, I, I always wondered what was so, in all those empty heads back there. Decided to document this as a part of my investigation so next stop is the parts and service room at freddy fazbear's pizza uh i've got a shift starting soon so best go now get in there about an hour earlier check out this tape and then hopefully not end up like him yeah All good right. luck with that bud not necessarily a good uh not necessarily good odds in your favor um but I appreciate your confidence. The Wait, was the floor red? Okay, the back room, okay, the back room. Parts and service just over here. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. See, it would be at this point that I would turn around 
It run very fast. Let's just get that tape. Right, which head is it then? Ah, oh, okay. It's gotta be this one. He's cocked. Got it. Alright. Let's head back to the office, put this in, and get started with the shift. Oh my god, no way he makes it to the office, right? Oh, Michael. You're seeing this, and I am dead. Oh, how pleasant. I know you... I know... I know you know. Sorry, I was having a stroke there. I know you know about your father and all the awful things he uh, has done. It. I worked with Henry to put a stop to all of this. I've only slowed him down. The night your father died, it wasn't a car crash. Been found in the back room, held by his own creation. Trapped within one of the old spring lock suits. Henry found him one night when there was a reported break in. Knowing what he had done, he turned his back on him while he screamed out to him. He thought he'd be dead by now. I still hear him shouting. I won't give up. Dead man playing on the life. All possessing his own corpse the same way those kids' souls bound to those Amtrak medals. Children are still angry. As I have filled my duty, it is up to you now. Not keep containing them forever. You will work with Henry to destroy everything, then this all for me. I know why you took the night shift. I know why you hide in the shadows. I promise. Oh. You won't end this for yourself. Uh, for your brother, Mike. Good luck. Please call Henry and he'll inform you further. Please also inform the family of my death if they don't already know. I just hope that when I go, it doesn't hurt for too long. I mean, that's all we can really hope for, yeah. This is a recording on behalf of Fazbear Entertainment as we perform the maintenance repairs requested by Afton Robotics. Mike never showed up to his shift, so now I've been pushed forward to take over for the evening. This place is so creepy. Regardless, I'll begin by what the hell? <laughs> what on earth happened here? I wasn't yeah. one. I had some place as a pig side. <laughs> of any of this, I, I have no clue where to go from here. Hello. <laughs> You're, you, you're not supposed to be here, sir. What am I looking at? Come out now. I'm calling the police. And you're being charged for the damage done to Fazbear property. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'm performing a good deed after all. William, but, but, but why to your own work? Say so. Okay. That seemed a little... Did you not even think that there might be a reason I didn't want Mike coming into work today? Oh, those kids... Bro is strapped! <laughs> he said, shoot now, ask questions later! They're constantly screaming at me every night. My daughter is in need of help, and this is a good deed. I will save her the same way those awful kids managed to cling onto those ridiculous robots. But unfortunately for you, I can't have anyone finding out. Especially not him. So, for what it's worth, 
I'm sorry. Good well, night. at least he apologized. <laughs> I see eyeballs. Henry. Henry. Goodbye, William. Henry, I swear to God. Huh? I swear to God. Don't you swear to God. Man. That's so mean. I will become your hell if you do not open this door. Henry, I swear to God. I swear to God that. so bad for him you know it's not like he totally deserved this <laughs> minor headache don't worry yet he's great you can walk that off walk that off he'll be fine hello I wanted to record a quick message for you. My name is Henry Emily. I Hi. work with your father. Just wanted to inform you that uh, William has been missing for two days now. Uh, I already put out the reports yesterday, but just thought you should know. And I know he wasn't the greatest to you, but considering he's still family, uh, I thought I should let you know. I am very sorry to bring you this news regardless. <laughs> Sneak that one by me. <laughs> Do not deserve the luxury of death. I will make sure of that. Oh, presumably speaking to Afton. This is like the whole thing about being in purgatory or keeping Afton in purgatory. You know, all that, all that good stuff. Windows it's 98 or 95. Uh, I guess we're in 1995, so probably Windows 95. <laughs> probably not Windows 98, because that wasn't out yet. Oh, hold on. Look, you're tossing, tossing a lot at me right now. All right. Oh, let's run it back. Run it back. Okay. Oh, Freddy Fazbear's. Okay. That, that, that was it. That was it. Okay. This video is on behalf of Fazbear Entertainment. It's requested by Afton Robotics that we record this session. Uh, as you can see, the pizzeria is completely just empty. I mean, we've been having to take it apart over the past few days. We've had a big team working on it. Uh, the last thing we've been doing is checking the animatronics, seeing if there's anything we can be uh, salvaged, then chucking the rest, really. Uh, Bonnie and Chica have been done. Um, apparently, Chica... Fox... Hey! Slow down! Uh, Bonnie and Chica have been done. Um, apparently, Chica... Yeah. I know his face. I've seen everything. So, this is whoever's in Chica. Foxy's Probably because of the yellow text too. I mean, that could be coincidence. Too. Up to another company due to the limited time, and tonight oh, up, I'm going to be. I say tonight's 5:29, um, but I'm going to be working on Freddy Fazbear. Um, okay. Right, Freddy, you've looked better. Got to be honest, man. Right. Okay. I'm just going to set up the camera, and we'll get started. Alright, camera set up. Okay, I have on file here that apparently foul odors were coming from the suits uh, after multiple maintenance bosses. The problem still persists. So, my job here today uh, is to see what can be salvaged, basically. 
Um, we're gonna test the animatronics, see what boss works. FNAF what AR model? Is it, uh, is there, is it like, I know FNAF AR had like a shitload of different kinds of Freddies. Is it like a certain like blank Freddy where it's like, uh, you know, some like adjective and then Freddy? Well, cause these things are old and, um, what or is this just how Freddy looked in AR? That's just normal Freddy? Okay. Still, it's I, gonna be honest, was never like super into FNAF AR. So I don't, I, I know of, like a very limited number of things. Most of the stuff I know from FNAF AR is like the email stuff, you know, where you kind of got like some of the introduction of uh, uh, Vanessa and like that sort of stuff. When we take it apart, we'll ship those parts off to other locations or we'll sell them ourselves. In terms of the gameplay. I'm... And the rest can all be, well, scrapped. Um, the zero percent right, condition chip. Let's get into this and let's power this on. Oh, okay, perfect. That's a good start. I mean, I was hoping it would. Have been... What game was that beat from? Is that from Pizzeria Simulator? When you're. Oh, oh man. Almost, we could start. Or what? I recognize that beat. That be oh, it's FNAF three, really? Oh, you're right. You're right. It is FNAF 3. Yeah, it's the, the console in right FNAF 3. Yeah. Okay. It's like, I recognize that pitch of beep. <laughs> right arm scene jam. Uh, let me load that back down real quick. Okay. Right, so the right arm. Well, it could just be Ross. Let me just... Okay. You just walk over and give it a nice shove, you know? Maybe maybe that'll get a loose. Get some WD-40, spray that shit on you. Yeah. Never mind, the whole arm's frozen up. Yeah. All right, so the whole arm is done for. Uh, I'll give it a better inspection when I take it apart, but yeah, nothing is responding on here. Uh, let's try the left arm. Okay, nice. Okay, well, so hi, Freddy. Part, uh, as I had hoped for. Lovely. Okay. Here. Who are you? They've locked me up like their pet, an animal for this. Oh. Fine. So start back up with the head. And we'll move the ears. What is it the green part? Okay. Um Idle, uh, the idle mechanism for the ears is, is not responding. Um, and Wait, presi presi I hold on. Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, chat. Guys, do you notice something between, uh, this and this? He's looking at us, chat. He's looking. He's doing a little peek. Idle, uh, the idle mechanism for the ears is, is not responding. Um, and I, I mean, maybe it's why it's wrong because the, the eyes have moved. Um, wait, what if I go and move the eyes manually? Nothing. Okay. So the eyes don't work. They must just be loose. They must have rolled to the side or something. I don't... Oh, surely. Surely they just rolled. I don't know what's happened here. Okay, right. Let me just... Okay, either there's a massive delay because I, I, I don't... I didn't do that. I have not... Yeah, sure, surely it was a massive delay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole software is frozen up. Uh, that's not creepy at all. Um... Okay, right. We, I can't power it off. Uh, I'll just wait till morning and hopefully we can get more people in here because I, I don't know what to do in this sort of situation that was not told to me. Um, okay, okay. Right, now I'm back. I can't see where I'm going. My torch... Let me get the camera real quick. Okay. Um, right, there we go. And... And that motherfucker's fast! No, this is a joke. This is a joke. What is this? Tan's Undertale glowing eye. Sure, sure Guys, new game theory. Or maybe I guess film theory because this is technically. You've, you've heard Sansa's Nest. 
Sans is Freddy. All right. No, I'm going. I'm leaving. Wait. Imagine he. I I I would like to imagine that he was just like in like the corner of the ceiling. Somehow he just like crawled up. This this is horrible. Okay, I'm going. Going. I'm going. Copy some sort of joke. This is not real. Also, I thought before that the red on the floor here was blood earlier. No, it's just like the center square broke. The center square of the uh, room is uh, just like red tile. That was mean. <laughs> bro was skedaddling. <laughs> what do you want from me? I want you to stop jump scaring me, bro. Show yourself. Who are you? They say your name over and over, and yet they still don't know you've been here all along. Funny. You think it's funny, William? How are you? Who the hell are you? <laughs> I don't see. I don't see what we're laughing about. He asked a question. It's not over until I say so, Michael. <laughs> I always come back. Oh. I always come. Um, all right, half three. <laughs> hey, cut that out. Honestly, better than the real game. <laughs> uh. Dude, I remember even when I was a kid that, like, when I would watch, like, Markiplier, whoever played FNAF 3, I just remember, like, that I, I was like, how did we go from, like, the FNAF 2 jump scares to, like, you know, spring trap just kind of popping in and saying hello. Like, what what happened there? You know. Rats, thumping around. Up, little bro. God tried something new, it did not work. Yeah, I mean, I give, you know, I, I credit him for at least trying. But, yeah, I, I feel like Scott, like, I, I liked the concept of it, but it was, like, just not executed the right way, you know? Oh, hi. I see how you like having metal spikes in your flesh and bones. I would prefer not to have that happen. No. Oh. Very naughty, Michael.
So as you can see, we've refurbished a lot in hopes of bringing in more customers and reviving the Fazbear name. Oh wow, you have really cleaned this place. Never in all of my years have I ever seen. Wait, we're in 2023. Is that when Pizzeria Simulator was meant to take place? Anyone super familiar with chat or uh, uh, the FNAF lore? That was that one. I don't recall. I'll tell you that now. Yeah, it's pretty new. Although the one we have in the back, I just I don't get why you'd be interested in that scrap of metal. You know, it's on the inside that counts. Right. right. Don't worry about it. All right, where is where is it? Did you know this storage room used to be an original Freddy Fazbear's dining area? Okay, it'll be on your left. Oh, wow. Oh, is that Lefty? I've never seen this. Oh, uh, Lefty! How's it go, Lefty? I'm... I'm so sorry. Don't be. I'm making my money back I off. wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I was talking to the robot! We're on a tight schedule, so if you could take it now, that'll be thirteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, sure, whatever. All right. <laughs> He's like, take my fucking money and get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> Just give me a second. I can't believe he did it. It's okay. I'm gonna set you free. I get that you might need to film this purchase for your boss. <laughs> Lady. <laughs> I'm busy here! <laughs> or something, but why exactly VHS? Oh my god. She, she just kept yapping, bro. <laughs> it's like, let me have a let me have a minute with my animatronic bro, alright? I gave you the day of money. Or at least I said I was. Henry, we we done it. We've done it. I've got them all in one place, just like you said, everything's ready. Um she's in the back. but we cannot risk taking that one apart. She'll flee again. All right, that's brilliant. I'll be there tomorrow to set everything up. I'll see you then. See ya. <laughs> okay. Wow, nice job making a lot of fucking noise, dipshit. Like you could have done that any louder. Oh, 
is going down. Oh, yeah. Now, let's say William isn't looking too hot, but he actually is. Considering he's on heart. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take, you know. Still burns with rage. Yep. During contest. You lose. You lose. This is our karma. So sorry, Charlie. Ready for you. Souls torture for 25 years. Soul traps for 39 years. And you've sold traps for 37 years. Are deaths deserved? Probably not. Did they were murders? No. We get it, man. We get it. We get it. He, he, for eternity, he suffers. I will make him pay for what he has done. Torturing his soul. Does this make you any better than him? I will show that to him. The other is already gone. Why are you still here? Never wanted to forgive. Wanted you to forgive me, because I have forgiven you. Is there a chance to rest? Do you want that? Agonite. Given I'm giving him so much worth. Peace. We shouldn't have locked you out then. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up, guys. <laughs> I remember the confusion when the lights went out. I remember the sharp blade slicing through me eight times before I died. Uh, I think Caesar had you beat on that one, but. Uh, I can't imagine that you felt alone in the rain. Oh, I can't imagine what you felt alone in the rain. Hold on. Sorry, I can't read. I can't imagine what you felt alone in the rain that night. You were so young. Keep the demon. 
this game. It's rest your own soul. There's nothing else. And it's dyslexic confirmed. I think you are too. chat there you have it there you have it yeah I, de I definitely think there are some critiques that can be made here um they i again i think the the main thing of which is just making sure that uh again and i i don't know to what extent but there's clearly some um crediting issues that i think need to be to be uh, done but um so you know obviously we had the uh you know, the the most recent example that i picked up on was the audio uh from the you know foxy uh interacting with the the crew uh, that was taken. Uh, that was taken from Baddington. Um, and yeah, I just think those things need to receive uh, an ad time. It's ad time. Um, uh, I think they need to receive, uh, you know, the proper like approval and credit and all that. I mean, again, it does seem like uh, based on what uh, Lord K said that uh, Baddington was credited, but sometimes that's not really enough. You know, you gotta. It's better to like actually reach out to the creator to make sure that you have expressed permission to do so. Um, but yeah, so kind of some some mixed some mixed feelings on some of that. But um, no cheese wedge gifted a tier one sub to Lucky underscore oh, wow. the underscore unlucky. They have given 18 gift subs in the channel. I'm not even subbed. This is hilarious. Thank you for gifting a sub cheese. You did not need to do that. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. It's... But I, I, I think I would need to look more into the individual videos and see uh, a bit more on the situation. Uh, again, I don't want to jump to conclusions because I'm not really aware of some of the uh, complaints that were brought up about this. So um, I, I want to make sure I, I do research on my end uh, to kind of look into that. But um, uh, last, or the latest one I found with this stream is that he straight up copied and pasted a concept from an old tape of mine. Um, do you remember, do you know which video it was i'm not sure if you know the title of the one on ballots again um yeah i mean the thing that gets dicey with like concepts right is it, it's it is a bit harder to like it's it definitely it's definitely a lot more gray area right like because Wow, this is like just kind of a hard thing to talk about <laughs> but you know it's like you can have things that are conceptually similar or even probably close to identical and it's still you know it, it's it's hard to like copyright a concept that that's where i'm kind of trying to get at um you can copyright like the the final product and stuff but like i think a great example is oh god there's there is like this set of like two movies that came out within like i think it might have been like the same year it was like no strings attached and friends with benefits i think those were the two movies this was like a very popular thing uh back when these movies came out where they were like conceptually like identical plots right but it's like you can't like really sue one or the other like you know there's not like anything that can legally be done um you know, like they might have taken ideas from each other during their productions, but it's like at the end of the day, it's like the the end product was generated by different means. So 
like that's where you, you get into like the gray area of it and it's like i don't really i'm not really here to be the arbiter of like what is good and what is bad right i'm just uh some stupid uh content creator that likes to react to spooky things you know so um yeah i i don't know i don't know but who asks i guess no one <laughs> but hey it's my job to talk about things and not just like stare at the screen without giving any input I got I got to try my best to be transformative because I don't want to just outright rip people's content either, right? Um me giving my opinions and and thoughts and stuff is what allows me to try to make this concept content transformative. Uh so, you know, but I don't know. It's it's tough. It's tough. I, I don't I don't really know what to like what my final conclusions I can draw are, you know. But, I don't know. Anywho. Um it was still fun to go through everything though. Um Ra, I'm the arbiter Halo and Master Chief. And I'm gonna suck some. Okay, I'm no, I'm not, I'm not reading the rest of that. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, all right. But I guess that, that kind of wraps things up for wraps things up for this stream. Um. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. Um, you enjoyed listening to my dumbass uh, react to things. What the fuck is Chick Fil A? Get the fuck out of here, man! I'm trying to play my jams. Um, anyways, <laughs> did you react to the oldest view? Yes, I did. That was at the beginning of the stream. Just the uh, newest video. I've uh reacted to the rest of oldest view i could send you that vod if you want to see that if you haven't already but yes we did react to the oldest view at the very start of the stream um vods here i come yeah if you wanted to see me check out uh one two and three That's the video uh, where I do oldest view one, two, and three. I can't believe, dude, that has 3.2k views. Which for me is pretty good on like a non FNF video. I mean, it's Kane Pixels, so, you know, people like seeing reactions to that. Can you plaza fix your mic already on? I would if I knew what was wrong. Jeez, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, I'm trying my best. I don't, I don't actually know what the issue is. I, I my own, my best theory is that my cord is not in great shape, and it might have to do with the cord. But I, I don't know to be honest. Like, and uh, the problem is, I, I feel like it happens infrequently enough where it might be hard to test. You can't just do the noise gate thing from last time. I already did the noise gate thing from last time. I don't think it's a noise gate issue. I think it might be an issue with the mic itself because I think people were mentioning it was happening in the Discord call last last night, which would imply that it's not an OBS issue. It's just like an issue with the mic. What mic do you have? Just a Blue Yeti. I've had it for a while. But at some point, I kind of fucked up the cord, so... <laughs> Thank you for gifting all oh, the well, bits. Fuck me, I guess. Why do you just toss the bits at me? Yeah, if I were to rebuy a mic now, like if I were to like start streaming, I don't think I'd get a Blue Yeti. Um, I think they're like, there's so many better mics on the market now. 
So the audio settings in Logitech G Hub, that's the thing. I haven't messed with anything in, in G Hub besides the game, which I, I haven't touched. Like there's nothing, I, I, there is nothing that should have changed with the mic to be causing issues. That's the, that's my whole frustration. I didn't change anything with the mic. I didn't change anything in OBS until I was having issues and had to. Like, so I, I don't know. It's very weird. I need to sort it out, but. Yeah, the Elgato Wave, I think is what I'd recommend for most people if they want to like get a, a mic nowadays. The software is really good for it, so. Um, I do want to switch to switch to an XLR mic at some point, um, but it's just it's expensive, man. You know. So, I've had my eyes on the uh, the Electro Voice uh, RE three twenty, which is a pretty nice mic but it's like it's not cheap you know not the re20 the re20 is even more expensive uh the re320 is like a little bit cheaper um but it's, again it's just it's a lot of money like and i would need to get an xlr interface too so um it's tough i know that there's like the at2020 that i could do that would be cheaper but like, if I'm gonna get a new mic, I want to get a, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, a dynamic mic. Cause I mean, I currently have, you know, a condenser mic. That's what the, uh, uh, the Yeti is, but. I feel like, especially with my keyboard, like it picks up a lot. Condenser mics tend to pick up a lot of excess noise, like, you know, outside of directly in front of it, so. Anyways, that's enough tech talk. <laughs> but yeah, chat, um, that'll be it for me tonight. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy the stream and you haven't done so already, be sure to drop a follow um i do these spooky streams every sunday usually um very least it happens on the weekend uh but yeah um i also do variety streams on mondays and wednesdays and uh do um uh fnf streams every friday give me headset recommendations do you mean vr headsets or like headphone headsets um but yeah, uh, but besides, oh, if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're a bot frog, I know, I know you came pixel viewers, all right? You're out there. I know you, uh, at least some of you clicked on this video that's going to be on the VOD channel because Kane pixel. Um, but yeah, uh, feel free to uh, hop over to my Twitch channel and drop a follow. You can come um, react to these live when I do these on Sundays um, and you can enjoy other spooky content uh, or any other content I do. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, besides checking me out here on Twitch, I'm also on a bunch of other platforms that you can check out. Start with my Discord server. We have a uh, great community of people over there. Got a lot of different channels for you to explore. Stuff for general discussion, posting memes, sharing music, listening to, posting your own argument that you're working on. Talking about games, discussing game news, suggesting games for me to play. Um, you can do all that over on my Discord server. So feel free to check that out. Um, I also have uh, a Twitter account where I post updates about my streams, which is when I plan on going live, when I actually go live, or if I have to cancel a post on stream for some reason. You'll get all those updates first on Twitter, and I'll post other stuff there on occasion. Uh, over on YouTube, I have three channels. You can take a look at the bot channel in particular. It has many hours of content from past streams like these. So if you'd like to see uh, the, you know, parts one, two, and three of the oldest view, like, uh, uh, Lord K wanted to see, uh, you can find that over there. Um, on the VOD channel, as well as other horror series I've reacted to, other horror content I've done, or just any content, it's all there. Uh, main channel and Clips channel have some additional stuff too, you can take a look at those. If you like what you see on any of the channels, be sure to subscribe. And last but not least, I also have a TikTok for more. Um, I 
I don't know if I remember this remix. I'm gonna be honest. Um, headphones, headsets. Uh, you want? Do you want like an easy answer or you want my real answer? Because if you want my real answer, most headsets are a waste of money. I remember the remix because I hated it. Yeah, I can't say I'm the biggest fan of this remix. Not really my style, but you know, to each their own. Um, yeah, most headsets are crap, like straight up. You'd be better off buying a pair of headphones and a mic, which you already have a mic. So I don't know why you want a headset. I could give you headphone recommendations. Is he something to buy when my Kraken fully shits the bed? But yeah, why don't you just get a pair of headphones? There are, I could give you a bunch of different headphone recommendations that are great for both music and for, you know, other uses, so. Um, like if you want clothes back, uh, you could do the uh, Bayer Dynamic, uh, what are they, the Bayer Dynamic. Uh, DT770 Pros. You would probably want to get the 32 ohm version. Yes, I want my clothes back. Closed back. <laughs> um, yeah, those run like $170. Depending on your audio interface, you could get the Nadium one, but I don't know if you have that. I don't think you have an audio interface, period, for headphones. Oh, you probably want to get the 32 ohm version. Not to worry about them being powered. But yeah, I mean, like, that's a great pair of headphones. They're expensive. Bro, what are you? <laughs> All right, if you want something cheaper, you could get these. They're open back headphones from Philips SHP 9500. They're like 80 bucks. $80. 80 bucks. They're okay for music. Um, there's definitely better headphones for music, but I really like these for gaming because they have pretty decent uh, like soundstage, which is good for like detecting footsteps and stuff. And that's because they're open back, but just be wary of the fact that they are open back. So you're gonna have sound leak, um, which like might get picked up on your microphone. I know that happens to me from time to time. We we're going to wrap up stream, but here I am talking about headphones. Dude, I am such a whore for talking about tech. I can't help myself. I could I could do an entire stream talking about tech. That 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 actually be kind of a fun stream idea just at answering chat's tech questions. <laughs> Might be on to something there. That's why I can hear me and your mic during content warning. Yeah, exactly. Like that, I, I, I run into that issue sometimes. That's why I wanted to get a uh, a dynamic mic instead of a condenser mic, because that would help with some of the headphone bleed that happens with condenser mics. She's never changed. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. The one thing I'll say is, I know this is like, not gonna be good for like, chances of me getting a sponsor, but I gotta, I gotta be honest with my opinion. I think most gaming branded headphones are way overpriced for what they deliver. There are some decent ones, but most of them are, are not great.
Um, I mean, honestly, I think in general, most things that are marketed to you as a gamer, they're using marketing as the main selling point. Like, you can a lot of times get better quality stuff that isn't marketed towards like, like gaming chairs is like one of those things. Like, there are so many shit gaming chairs on the market. Like, if you go for so, like a company like Autonomous or something and just get like a good chair. The only one that I've heard somewhat good things about is Secret Labs, I think makes some decent chairs. So, but. The fact that I haven't had my kitty Krakens for even a whole year and they're already fucking up is just sad. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the point I'm making. Um, just. Oh. Oh. There's a, uh, a, a content creator on YouTube that did a pretty well done video about the whole like issues that he has with like gaming marketed like audio products um and uh i get sidetracked brought to you by cheese yeah i was supposed to end stream bro um yeah i for like probably close to 10 minutes all right Harris Heller. Uh, Harris Heller might have done a video similar. I don't know if it was Harris Heller though. I'm thinking of a different creator. Oh God, Critical. I think. But I don't know, man. I, I, I've, I've, I don't. I'm not like sub to Harris Heller, but I'll get videos in my recommended every once in a while. That I'll check out. Critical does some great stuff. He's he's a bit. Um, how would I describe him? Um, oh, there's like a word that I'm looking for. It's like on the tip of my tongue. I just can't think of it. Um, God damn it. This is a great post credit scene. Did the foul say again at this point? Roll the credits again. Um, what's the fucking word I'm looking for right now, dude? Um, not critical, but cynical, I think is the word I'm looking for here. Um, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, you know, he's, he, he knows a lot about audio. So like he gets, I don't know if cynical is the word I'm looking for here. Um, maybe, no, cynical is not the word. Um, anyways, um, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> All right. Um, I got pure action. Uh, <sighs> so I might just end. <laughs> We've talked too long. I don't feel like raiding now. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways. Have a good night, Matt. Thank you, Lord Day. You as well. Oh, Lord K. Also, feel free to message me, because again, I do want to. I do want to go through your catalog of videos at some point. Um, I don't know if you have like a playlist that I should check out in particular, or, um, or if there's like a a certain set of videos that I should just go through. But I know you have your every VHS tape I've made playlist, but I don't know if that's necessarily what you'd want me to go through cooking up one right now just for you. Wow, I feel honored. 
Is it the Fazbear Archives one that has one video or what? <laughs> or is that another one? <laughs> no, 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 okay. Would you rather have headgear or knee gear? Knee gear, I guess. Congrats on saying the N-word. What a lame joke. Not only was that lame, it didn't even sound remotely close. Have fun in the void. <laughs> so dumb. All right, anyways. <laughs> like, wow, good job, man. That was so funny. Um, anyways, all right. Chad, I think I'll be it. Um, that's so mean, no right now. I, I'm just gonna wrap up. All right, chat. That'll be it. Um, we will do another stream tomorrow. We will be doing uh, Jump King, I suppose. Um, there is the new Jump King map that came out. I might, maybe. I might do, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, what was, I just totally lost my track. Oh yeah, there's this, this, <laughs> chat, this is why we need to end the stream. I'm already shutting down. Um, there is the, uh, uh, the new Jump King map that came out. The issue is that I don't want to lose my save for the current map that I'm working on, but I do want to try out the new map. So I got to see if I can figure out how to do that. Um, we'll find out. So we might do the new map tomorrow. We might just do the map that we've been working on. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but that's it. Anyways, thanks for tuning in tonight, guys. And uh, I will see you next time. All right. Bye.